Greetings everyone and welcome to the BMC Elix Progressive Web Apps Introduction and Adoption Best Practices webinar. I'm Mario Pimenta and I'll be presenting how BMC will deliver innovation to your ITSM solution through Progressive Web Apps slash views. For this session, we will cover four topics that will introduce you to Progressive Web Apps and BMC Elix ITSM. First, what is PWA? where we will talk about the technology and why it was brought to BMC Elix ITSM. Second, how the PWA fit in BMC Elix ITSM, where we will explain how PWA fits in the architecture of Elix ITSM. In this topic, we will also go through a little bit of the PWA timeline so far. Third, how to use PWA, where we will go through the activation of PWA in the Elix platform and how you can create your applications and modify your well-known forms. We'll also go through a couple of examples of customizations developed by BMC professionals that can be downloaded and enhance your experience in Smart IT. Fourth, Adoption Path, where we'll go through the recommended steps for your organization to achieve the best adoption possible. What is PWA? Progressive Web Apps is the technology introduced to BMC Elix ITSM's architecture to deliver new functionalities and enable customers to customize Smart IT. Progressive Web Apps is a type of application software delivered through the web that allows applications to have the same behavior and look, regardless of how the user accesses it. Web, mobile web, native mobile, and native desktop. The fast-paced development capability some of you know very well is back with a better technology on the presentation layer. How do PWA fit in BMC Elix ITSM? In the 2002 and prior versions, this was the architecture of Elix ITSM. There was no PWA and Smart IT had its own database where it saved metadata and then accessed the AR system server to get the data of, your, of the processes you very well know. Smart IT provided the connectivity for the mobile clients. Browser access was used for both mid-tier and Smart IT. There were multiple use cases that required opening a new tab from Smart IT into mid-tier. BMC's efforts is to move towards a user experience where all business as usual use cases are performed in Smart IT. We're not there yet, but we'll get there. In the architecture from 2008 onwards, you can see that the Smart IT database was removed and PWA introduced. PWA gets and submits data from the users via REST API calls. I remind you that these architecture diagrams are simplified versions of complex ecosystems of components. For more detailed information, documentation will be made available. Progressive Web Apps, the release timeline so far. Started in 2002, with PWA screens for incident and work order. Opt-in option, and you would choose to actually have access to the uh, PWA uh, views and, and edit them. There was also native apps for mobile. In 2105, PW screens were introduced for all the other processes, change, problem investigation, known error, task, people, broadcast, asset. The opt-in option was also there and native apps for mobile, and there was no need to deploy separate Smart IT servers anymore in the architecture. There was also use for mobile scenarios. In 21.3, additional ITSM capabilities were introduced based in, on the PWA user interface. There were console enhancements put into place, like filters and export, impacted areas for incident, major incident management, and create an outage for incident. In 
there's a responsive web user interface, branding of PWA screens, and various user experience enhancements that provides you uh, the experience you're looking for in this type of um, interface. How to use PWA? To enable progressive web apps in your environments, you need to go to the AR System Administration Console and on the left-hand side menu choose System, General, Centralized Configuration. You'll be then shown the AR System Configuration Generic User Interface. Choose the component com.bmc.arsys.server.shared and select the asterisk option. Then select the setting name Enable Progressive Views and replace the F with a T. Make sure you don't press enter, otherwise you'll enter a new line in the configuration. After enabling progressive web views, log in through Developer Studio so the new definitions are read from the server and the progressive web development options are made available in your Developer Studio. You'll be able to create a new type of views. Progressive. For this, you go to Form, Create a New View, and from the View Type list, select Progressive. BMC reminds you that you should always use the Developer Studio version your platform is currently on. As you can see, it is a panel based development type and no longer a what you see is what you get type of development. Although it might be confusing at first, this will prove to be better and faster because it's the web browser that will process and display the content according to the screen size. Also, for every panel you create, you'll be able to determine the visibility of the panel according to the way the user is accessing your application. You can hide certain panels from the mobile interface so the user can have a smoother experience versus a more complete experience when accessing via a browser on a computer or a tablet. In the forms you know so well, new views are displayed. One for when the user is creating a record, one for when the user is editing a record, and one for when a user is viewing a record. And this is the aspect of the create incident. Let's go over to Developer Studio to see it in a bit more detail. As you can see here, a new form has only these three panels to start with. You can then add and configure all these options. If it's visible, the width, the line item, the padding, the margins, and also for, for the progressive on, in desktop, for mobile, and for tablet. Let's go over to Help Desk. We know so well. So this is the old what you see is what you get view. And as shown in the slide, here are the three new views. Let's go over to the edit one, since the create is already in the slide. And I will also be able to show you some novelties that progressive web apps bring. As you can see, you have all the fields that you know so well, impact, urgency, status, status reason, resolution, customer data here, the incident type, the service, the CI, categorizations, resolution categorizations, impacted areas, and here, the assignment information, 
And more importantly, here you have the major incident process information. Who's going to be the major incident manager and the communication coordinator? Again, if you don't call communication coordinator, here's a good opportunity for you to change according to what your organization names that role. Going back to our presentation now. I will now present you a couple of examples of customizations made available in our communities page that were developed by our own professionals at BMC that you can download and deploy in your environments. In this case, we start by audit log in PWA. As you can see here, you can track the information that if you use the old Meteor interface, you would access the audit log for status transitions, changes in any field that you are auditing in your process. There's also the notification log tab where you can verify the notifications being sent related to the process that you're currently uh, looking at. On to the next example, it's the approval central that you, that you had access in the old mid-tier interface in PWA. The next example is the effort logging in an incident. This effort logging is also available for change and task. I will provide the URL for you to access a list of, uh, of customizations that you can download and deploy in your environments. And now on to the adoption path. Adoption path. This plan will try to cater for all flavors of customization. Some customers have customizations from long ago in the old mid-tier interface. Some only have custom actions configured in Smart IT. Some have both. Please take this plan and adapt it to your case. Now, the first two stages are of assessment. The first one, identify the customizations performed to the user interface, fields and active links in the process forms, change, help desk, problem, known error, work order, task, people, or the class, from your CMDB that is made available via the forms AST and the class name. The second phase of assessment is to identify added custom fields. Identify out of the box and custom fields and actions that you added to Smart IT via the administration screen configuration. The third stage is the reconciliation. Select the customizations to keep use case by use case by modifying the active links. Either you change the execution qualification to so that the active link only is executed in the view that you intend to have it executed or simply disable it. After that, enable progressive views in the development environment. Verify the out of the box versus custom workflow and implement the customizations in the progressive views that you have identified and are not visible or nor are executed in the PWA view. For example, add a status reasons of tasks to the table that is displayed in the change form. After that, create the packages, deploy them in QA, and enable progressive web views in QA. And this will be similar to a, a simulation of Go Live. You will then have the opportunity to announce to the user community changes that the platform uh, will have 
and the functionalities that will be made available to the users, such as major incident management. After that, go live in production. BMC would like to remind you that new features will only be made available and delivered for the PWA views. The old Smart IT and the old Mid-Tier Interface will only be updated if it is a critical update. And on to the next slide, which is the useful links. Here you'll have the documentation links for the Enable Progressive Views, Develop a Progressive Web Application, how to add custom fields to your views in PWA, and two community articles, frequently asked questions on Smart IT PWA, and our Solutions Engineering Architect Leaders, SEAL Team, extensions that are already developed and made available for you to download. I recommend you attend the next Ask the Expert session on Progressive Web Apps, where my colleagues will deep dive into the best practices on how to develop web application in Developer Studio and the best practices for customizing the out-of-the-box forms and applications. These sessions will take place on the 29th of March and 12th of April and will be made available online afterwards. We can now go live to the Q&A session, and I hope you have enjoyed this recording. Thank you very much. Speak soon.